guys welcome back to ESC kicks and today I have a very special unboxing all right so today is June 24th 2017 and for you guys that know my hype beast out there today we had a restock one of the only restocks of Yeezy history aside from the pirate blacks today I think marks the end of the super high Yeezy resale for the V2s, all right? So Adidas came out with the Yeezy V2 uh, about last, about a year ago, back in 2016, I forgot the date. It was like around August to November in that area when they dropped the Belugas. Um, I don't have that pair, but I really do want them. But they are supposed to be the successors and the V2, basically the second version of the easy 350 these are the the 350 the v1 1.0 i uh, have the oxfords the pirates and the turtle doves i'm still missing the moon rock but i don't really like the gray song so they're not on my to-do list all right so adidas came out with the v2 they had a new a new kind of new shape a uh, weirder color weirder design and one thing that stood out the most was that on the side it says supply 315 now some people say it says supply some people say it stands for um saint pablo loves you something like that i don't really know what it stands for but i just know it says supply 350 350 is the model of the yeezy yeezy 350 v2 all right so little, little fast forward all right so when the belugas came out um mostly all the v2s the resale value hasn't been as much as the yeezy v1s uh, for example, the turtle doves they sometimes go for over two thousand dollars, and mostly a lot of those uh, V1s go for a lot of money. But the V2s, when they came out, not a lot of people were digging them, and a lot of people just got them to sell them immediately. Uh, I remember when the Belugas came out, uh, they were selling on like release day for like five hundred, six hundred bucks, uh, and um, resale for them right now is like around seven to eight hundred bucks is the most, and those and the one and they are the most or one of the most um high selling v2 as in resale wise uh i think the other one is the red stripe one so yeah and talking about the red stripe one uh so in like november um adidas came out with three sets of easy v2s in the same day it was the copper the olive and the red one so the market just got flooded with Yeezys all of a sudden and that's one of the things I believe that helped uh, kill the hype a little now that they were a little bit more easier to get and there were more of them and then after that the Oreos came out and then after that it was the Zebras alright so when the Zebras first came out they were uh, Yeezy supply exclusive uh, I remember I tried to get them uh, and I couldn't get them um, it was really hard to get they sold out in seconds um, it was just horrible I had it in card and then it just the transaction wouldn't go so those were the highest selling or uh, resale wise Yeezy V2s of all time um, just a couple months ago uh, they were going for like 1500 up sometimes even up to two grand people were paying because they were so limited that every person that had them that had them would stun on them or some of them would keep them and sell them uh, the sad thing is that a lot of people actually thought that the price will go up even in over time like most Yeezys do and a lot of people right now are stuck with them and when they could have got a $1,500 profit now they're only going selling them for like five to six hundred right now uh, so that's one reason why I believe um, I let, let's just let's just get into the shoes and I'll explain later all right all right I did get two pairs one right here one right here i'll be opening one and maybe i'll open the other maybe i'm not sure but let's get to the unboxing all right i haven't seen them i've never held a zebra in person uh i've seen them when i've gone at rift and at mag park uh, i've seen them on the shelf but i've seen them wrapped in plastic or behind the counter so let's get to it they're really beautiful all right i'm just gonna say that all right so here we have the easy v2 zebra let me put up the tongue, it looks, it looks weird like this. V2 Zebra. Alright. Here they are. Alright. Tags, brand new DS. 
kind of half my size so let's get to the shoe all right so it's the typical Yeezy V2 silhouette like I was saying uh, let, let's see against the V1 I'll get the Oxford tans for this so the Yeezy V2 is a little bit bigger as you guys can see it looks a little bit bigger even though it fits if it's tighter if it's smaller uh, you guys can see that it somewhat resembles it this is the V1 V2 see it kind of resembles it but it's like a, a remix of it alright so that's the silhouette it's a classic v v2 silhouette uh, this is the supply 350 line i was talking about earlier so let's get into the colorway all right the colorway is really crazy all right um it has like the base of the cream white kind of like you could see it kind of looks like it but then it has also a black prime knit um which resembles the zebra the animal zebra all right um, one thing I really like about the shoe is the red ink that they chose. I mean, they could have gone probably with like a black ink, but the red one just makes it look so much nicer, it makes it pop out, makes it stand out. Uh, that's one thing I really like. Uh, one thing I don't like about the shoe is actually the sole. Uh, I'm not a fan of this sole. It actually gets dirty really fast compared to other ones. So that's one thing I don't really like about it, but it looks really dope. Also, one thing about the sole I don't like is that here where they need like there's the union of it is like yellowish and i just don't like it kind of looks like it were old so that's one thing i don't really like about the sole not the shoe uh one thing i do like about the shoe um i don't know if you guys can see it but like the lace and like all around the shoe is not like a a white white it's like an off white creamish type of color uh, as you guys can see where it says supply 350 there's like a white line here and you could use you could see the difference between this white line and this one and this is the one that they use all around the shoe so this is really cool that it's like an off white uh, one of my favorite colors is actually like an off white cream that's my one of my favorite colors so for me this is really dope um so yeah this is the shoe And let's continue with the discussion that I was saying earlier. All right. So one thing, one thing that I have to say would be that, like, okay, the question is, is the Easy Hype dying? No, the Easy Hype is not dying, but it is not the same as before, the resale wise. Um, like I was saying before, just because this was limited, this was going for almost two grand now that this is um not a general release but more people have accessibility to it it is now like in the 500 600 dollar area depending on the size and location and all that uh consignment stores are trying like 700 so that's the consignment price and like personal people or like independent people are selling at like five to six hundred that's what i'm getting that price um but like i was saying um the easy hype is it's not dying but it's not the same because now the resale of this is not as much as the resellers would have liked when the first ones came out they were happy because that was two months of rent paid off with those pair of zebras but now it's not enough uh is it good or bad for me i say it's good uh i'm i'm, I'm a hype beast so i do like it when things are hyped but I do like that they're more accessible and that it's more cheaper to get them in the resale wise because I know that okay to be honest like these shoes are more for younger people than older people I'm um, saying this like from 27 to under like from when you're 13 years old to 27 this is like a typical shoe and the thing is that 13 year old to like 17 year olds they don't really have uh that much money uh, not all companies uh, allow them to work until they're like 16 or 17 and a half uh so that's one thing why uh, i think it's better that they're more accessible because younger people uh could cop them better um it just looks wrong when you see like a 40 year old guy wearing yeezys it just does not look right i'm not judging but i'm saying it's just not it doesn't go with you bro it doesn't uh so that's one thing that i'm really happy that they're more accessible to to more younger audience and now more people can get yeezys because i remember before when like someone saw people in yeezys they'd be like oh like like they would be like oh like, damn you got yeezys on like i remember with like the yeezy um 
V1s, they're still pretty rare compared to these. Like even when I'm walking around the mall or like where I'm where I'm going to Target with the turtles, like I still see people like they're pointing at my shoes. So that's one thing about the Easy V1 hype. Also when I'm wearing the 750s, people are like, damn, then dope. You know? But not that much with the V2s, uh you could see people around uh, wearing the V2s and they're like, oh okay. V2s, they're not that hard to get. So Yes, the hype is dying down a little because now more people have Yeezys than before. I remember when even Kanye was just with Nike. I remember if you even owned the Paris, you were you 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 had it done in life already. But now Yeezys, it's almost. I'm not saying it's as fast to collect as a Jordan, but it's not that hard to start a Yeezy collection anymore. Um, but yeah, overall, this shoe's very dope. I mean. The prices tend to go up later on in time, so probably in two months, it'll probably go up to like 700 to the 800 area. Because they still were pretty limited compared to other shoes. Compared to the cream, these were still more limited. So, if, I mean, if you are temp or if you are thinking about paying them now or later, I suggest you buy them now to in two weeks while people receive theirs online. That will be the cheapest you will find them. Um... Another suggestion would be um, buy them like between next week because these will go up in price. Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Compared to the creams, these are way nicer. They have color in them. They have great tones, and it's just a great shoe. So I mean, don't sleep on these. Don't be sleeping on these. Like, and now that they're cheaper to get, like, did I think I was gonna buy zebras? I didn't think I was gonna get zebras in my life. Two grand was too much money. I know you guys are saying, oh, but he got the Saturn ones. Those things are almost two grand. Yes, but I'm a fan of Jordan. That I, I can dignify that because I love Michael Jordan. I love Jordan. I love Nike. Adidas, not so much. You know, if I get them on a good price, I'll get them, but I'm not going to get them be for a high price because I'm not really a big fan of them, all right? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a great time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my video. Hopefully, you guys got some insights. Hopefully, you guys um are gonna cop a pair of yeezys because i want all of us to wear a pair of yeezys all right so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please follow me on instagram uh it's not the esc kicks uh instagram anymore um i wasn't on that as much as i would like so i turned my my personal my personal my personal page as the ESC kicks one, so you'll see shoes, you'll see my personal life, you guys will see what I do. Uh, I do a lot of on the stories, like you guys will see when I'm copying shoes, what shoes I'm copying before I even put a video up. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, follow me on Instagram at, I'm going to put it down here somewhere. Uh, it's really long for me to say, but follow me there. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and, and like I always say, peace!